Hi, welcome back to the Springboard tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the add controller advice annotation with an example. Let's begin. Again, this add controller advice is not specific to Spring Boot. It is also a part of the Spring framework. So let's understand what is the use of it and how we can use this in our Spring application. So in our previous video, we have discussed about the add exception handler annotation, which will handle the exceptions at the controller level. And with this at controller advice annotation, we can handle the exceptions at global level, which means in our entire Spring application, anywhere exceptions occur, we can handle those exceptions using this at controller advice annotation. So we're going to annotate this at controller advice annotation to the class level. And then we're going to write a handler methods, which will handle the specific exceptions from other controller classes as well. So again, in order to understand uh, the at controller advice is by looking at the example. So let's jump into our STS. So I have already created a spring project called controller advice. And if I open the source main Java, we have a bunch of packages, the controller package, entity package, exceptions package, and the service package. So inside the exceptions package, I have created a error object, which is nothing but the, the custom response. If I open this, we have a status code message and a timestamp. So inside the entity, we have a two entity, employee entity and the product temp product entity. Inside the employee, we have a ID name, age and location. And inside the product, we have a ID name and price. And inside the service, if I open the employee service, uh, we are loading a few static data inside the static block. And also we have a two methods. One is the get list of employees and get a single employee based on the ID. And the same thing we have inside the products as well. So we are loading the static data inside the static block, the few products. And also we are writing a method to get the list and also to get the single product. So now let's assume that so if the user is trying to get the product and if the user pass the ID, which is not even present in our static data, then it will throw an exception. So to handle that exception in our previous video, we have used the add exception handler annotation. So let's use the add controller advice annotation to handle those exceptions. We're going to handle two kinds of exceptions. One is no data found exception and the employee not found exception or the product not found exception. So let's begin. So first of all, I'm going to create a custom exceptions. So inside the exceptions package, I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call this resource not found exception. And this will extend the runtime exception, runtime exception and click finish. So inside this, I'm going to provide a constructor resource not found exception, which will accept the string as a parameter. I will call the super method by passing in the parameter or the message. So now the resource not found exception is our custom exception. So this resource, it could be, it could be an employee or it could be a customer. It could be a student or it could be a product, anything. Okay. So the generic uh, exception I have written for not found exception. Earlier we have written student not found exception. Uh, why we are creating the generic exception is like, let's assume that in our, uh, in our in ent enterprise applications, we have a uh, thousands of entities. We cannot create all those thousand, uh, not found exceptions, uh, exceptions, custom exceptions. So for that, we are writing the generic exception, which is a resource not found exception. So let's save this. I'm going to create a one more generic exception, which is no data found exception, no data found exception, which will also extends the runtime exception, runtime exception, Click finish. Let's create the parameterized constructor. No data found exception.
this will take the string as a parameter it's called the super method all right so now we have a two custom exceptions the no data found exception and the runtime exception so now let's create the uh, global controller global exception controller so inside the exceptions package i'm going to create a new class which is global exception click finish so we need to add an annotation at controller advice at controller advice annotation and inside this i'm going to create a handler method so public so this will return the response entity error object handle resource not found exception and this will take the resource not found as an exception resource not found exception and inside this let me import the add controller advice as well as the res response entity and the error object and i'm going to annotate this with the add exception handler exception handler and inside this i'm going to create an error object error object error object dot set status code so i'll set the status code to 404 so http status dot not found dot value e object dot set message exception dot get message error object dot set timestamp we will use system dot current time milliseconds and then we will return a response entity return new response entity and we will pass the error object as the first parameter and the second parameter we will pass the HTTP status not found okay so now we have created a handler method for resource not found exception the same way we are going to create a one more handler ma method for no data found exception so let me paste it one more time and I'll change this to no data found exception let me change this to no data found exception and inside this I'll set this to no content and exception dot get message time milliseconds this is everything is fine so I'll set this to okay all right so now we have a two handler methods one is for resource not found exception and another one is for no data found exception so now let's save this so now we have a global controller to handle the exceptions so all we need to do is we have to throw the exceptions so inside our service so let's go to the employee service so we are getting this list so we are going to check this list if list dot size is greater than zero then we are going to return the list otherwise we are going to throw a new exception throw new no data found exception no data found exception and I will pass the message no employees data found
and inside this get employee inside this get employee what i'll do is i'll write a if condition if not employee is present the employee is not present i'm adding the not operator if it is not present then we're going to throw a new exception throw new resource not found exception and I will pass the message employee is not found for the ID I'm going to attach the ID as well otherwise we are going to if it is present then we are going to return the employee so the employee dot get and the same thing we are going to replicate it in the product service as well so let me write if the list size okay i will do in a different way if the list is empty then i'm going to throw a new exception which is no data found exception here i will write the message products data is not available Otherwise, we are going to return the list. Inside the get product, I'm going to write a condition if the product is not present, then we will throw new exception, which is resource not found exception. And I'll write the message product is not found for the id i'm going to attach the id else we are going to return the product dot get okay we're going to return the product so that's all uh, for the that's all for now so let's test our work let me save all the files and now let's open the main file and let's run as Spring Boot application. All right, the application is started. Let's navigate to the browser and localhost 8080 slash employees so hit enter we do get the five employees records so now let's try for the second employee slash two and we do get a single employee which is present now let's try for 25 uh, which is not even present in the database and let's see what error response we do we get and you can see 404 employee is not found for the id 25 and timestamp so let's try for the products products hit enter we do get all the products the five pro products and let's try for 100 the product id 100 which is not even present in the database hit enter we do get a response status 404 message product is not found for the id 100 and the timestamp okay so now let's try for the no data found exception so for that we need to remove all the data from our static block so let's go back to the sts and inside the employee service let me comment the data inside the product service as well so let's save this and the application will restart again and let's go back to the browser and now if i try for slash products and we do get a different error response which is status code 204 
which is 204 which indicates no con no content and message which is products data is not available and the timestamp you can try for the employees as well and you can see status code 204 no employees data found timestamp the the current time all right so now this way we can handle the exceptions throughout in our application using the add controller advice so we can create a generic exception which is resource not found exception and no data found exception like this way you can also create a few more exceptions depending upon your requirement and now if you create any number of entities so you can use this resource not found exception for whenever uh, the whenever you are fetching the resource based on the id or based on the name or something like that so this way you can create the custom exceptions i hope you guys enjoyed this video and in case if you are looking for the source code which is available on my website pushandsetgo.in and you can read more about this ad controller advice in this article that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video